Welcome to Graham Games, my name is Graham, this is a game, today we're playing the new Loot Light. It was advertised as like a roguelike arcade game It has loot. You just moved to your new home and you got robbed, I think is what I got to quickly learn. Uh, I didn't get to see any more than that. Uh, apparently I can only start as the warrior, but you can see there's quite a few options. <laughs> Starting straight out in the nude. It's weirdly more apparent with this character. Maybe because they have hair. Maybe that's the difference maker than than with someone like Isaac. Or maybe because they're such a fleshy pink, whereas this is like oh it's like skin tone. It suddenly is mildly uncomfortable. There we go. Now it's now it's cartoony and silly again, right? Oh I, I legitimately like you you don't actually get to put clothes on your character. That is that is not an option. So I guess I'm going Full bald. I <laughs> I do like rotating around and there's just that that very apparent crack up the middle there. No hiding from that. Go take on some some bee drills hiding out and about. I like the very uh adventure-esque, you know, Zelda-like uh forest setting. There's nice nice happy little little buildings to the side and such. Like, can I, can I visit? Go inside, see what they got going on in there? It's just, you know, it's, there's a lot of uh, sewer settings and caves and deserts and industrial areas and sci-fi things and stuff. Years, years ago, I mapped out my own version of, like, a roguelite game when I thought, like, I bet I have good ideas for a, a Isaac clone. I didn't. They weren't good ideas. There was nothing. It was a reskin. There was no unique ideas in that. <laughs> Maybe I should share that someday. Just like the tiny little, very unoriginal things I came up with. A hammer attack. Stun chance. You could use it to drive a nail, I guess. The old sword. No, I'm sticking with this. But in my, my own little idea there, a big part of it was it was like a forest setting because I always thought that would be fun and nice. So that appealed to me right away. I'm getting bashed up by these Monty moles firing their rocks from a distance. Makes me think of like the Mario Kart moles, even though they got like red Rudolph noses. <laughs> I got no, no other reason to compare them other than just being generally mole-like. The Rune of Wind. The hero will move faster. I noticed that immediately. It's it's actually like a huge step up. And I don't know if that's going to wear off. Is that permanent? That feels like a quite the upgrade, honestly. Uh, potion, I desperately. Yes, I, okay, I'm, I'm a big fan of that. Dish those out a bit more, please. See, will this be a trade-off or an add-on? Oh, you had to, I had to buy it. That's That makes more sense for it being permanent then. Some coins will be doubled when the hero collects them. Ooh, see? If I would have found that early on in the level, doubled up all my stuff, and come back. Dungeons. Although the dungeons have been abandoned for years, they're still full of traps. Oh, so I am progressing through that, like, overworld in some way. Ah, uh, dang. I... Don't know if I'll go back out where I was, because in the top right there was totally something else to be explored. Oh, as soon as you start introducing ground traps like this that I have the risk of stepping in and being killed by, that's what's going to do me in. <laughs> Not duplicating enemies or anything like that. You kind of step into the hammer swing a little bit. you got to be careful. There's a lot of things, but there suddenly being spikes everywhere, but especially that. Rune of Accuracy increases the hero's critical hit chances. I'm going to use my super, see what that's all about. Okay, I summoned a, a big-ass hardcore sword, does tons of damage, which apparently those knights have, like, a crazy amount of health, so yeah, that's good to have. And it timed out quite quickly. Oh god, this, <laughs> this is going to turn into so many slimes. I feel... The only way I'm going to get through this is to camp this corner 20%. I don't really understand, like, is there, there only that few different areas you can stop through? New class unlocked. The mage. Well, yeah, sure, I'll start as a mage. 
Oh, I definitely had some sort of like warrior mana thing going on because I'm fairly certain I still had I still had that mana bar going on. Whatever it was, there's no way it could possibly, nothing I could imagine could possibly live up to the fun it is to shoot that everywhere that aggressively. Rune throwing increases the hero's throwing weapon capacity. I don't think I'll ever need it. Chucking fireballs is the only thing I'm gonna ever need as a character in potentially any game. If you're gonna give me this as an option, I'm going all in on it. I don't care how little health I have, how vulnerable it leaves me. Fireballs. Fireballs are what I care about now. That was pathetic. Damn it. That, having that little health is not good for my health. They even took your clothes. I think completing the Peninsular Prairies was all it took to unlock the mage. It's like meant to be a nice, simple, quick... Oh... Rolls. Well, I'm not going to need any of that right away. I'll try to utilize it here and there because it's hard to get used to different games rolling mechanics, you know? They all do it slightly differently. Slightly more forgiveness and cooldowns and ranges and speeds and everything. It seems so useful, but when you're still a rookie, it gets in the way more than anything. It does feel like a nice tactical way to enter a battle then I, then I rolled straight into that B. It wasn't very tactical. <laughs> I guess I was physically using my head, but it's not, not a recommended strategy. Blocking. When using a melee weapon, the hero will be able to block unblockable projectiles. Hmm, I have been swinging my sword around a lot to block the blockable ones. I've yet to learn what isn't blockable. Probably at some point I'll have to have uh, fireballs. <laughs> Things like that I'll have to deal with. Ah, so the dark forest in the bottom right there you can see is being pointed out to me as like the main route out of here. Ruin of salvaging. Objects will take longer to disappear. Hasn't been a, a major issue yet. I think I've been running around collecting everything. Don't really care about it. I'll save my money. Plus things magnetize to you slightly. And I took the dungeon as an alternate exit. Pants improved speed. It is worse to walk with your rear exposed. Yeah, now you now you can walk with confidence. You got that bare chest blasting, but at least you don't have the embarrassment of your fanny <laughs> hanging out. You're trying to like swing your sword at these monsters and and be an epic hero and and slay things with style and protect yourself. But, you know, you're always going to have one hand behind your back, covering your crack. Ooh, two times attack, increased mana regen. Can you actually use this as a weapon? Throne. Uh, am I, is it, it going to run out, though? What happens? Oh, it has a reload. But it. I, I kind of like the idea that it doesn't really... I don't have to track ammo. I just have to like reload it. That's fine. All right, I'll give that a go. It would have been in that other run that the throwing ruin was, wasn't it? Ah, blocking. Even though it's weirdly the picture of a bone. <laughs> That's kind of like messed with my head a little bit. The dark forest this time. Those woods are infected with poisonous mushrooms. Be careful. I feel prepared. I got all, uh, uh, quite a load of bones. I, I'm immediately gonna, I, I guess they do extra damage. The reload kind of sucks. And the sword had like, you know, an arc in its attack. That splash was very useful to have. Honestly though, this thing does uh, like notably massive amounts of damage. And so this might, this might work out uh, okay for me. Trees beware. Okay, extra damage, and it's still throwable. Yeah, the axe, axes are immediately <laughs> what I'm switching to. Oh, baby. This is fun. I like the range stuff in this game. I was trying to roll out of there. I got cornered. I'm not aiming well at all. I don't like these little mushrooms. No, oh, but then you score the big, the big damages. The way it implants 
in things is quite satisfying. Their their items starting to fade, almost became an issue. Hmm. No, if there are secrets, I don't I don't quite know how to how to go exploring for them at this stage. I don't have bombs or anything traditional to blast open options for myself. Oh, full health though. I don't think those can kill me. I've yet to learn that, and it still wigs me out a little bit. A doublet, extra life, upper armor. We're not sure how this could protect anyone. It's just a shirt? Oh, a stylish orange shirt. Potentially, probably. If anyone asked, I would tell them it was my favorite color. <laughs> the, the only thing that would be in contention would probably be like yellow. So I'm, I'm, I'm down stylistically for this. I don't like that those regrow. <laughs> I'm trying to fight from a distance here and I'm getting I'm getting real jammed up by these vines and things. I think I just gotta break out. Oh, oh god. Okay, do more rolls. But do them in ways where you're not rolling into other things that are gonna hurt you. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. <sighs> I felt so good about all that. That one narrow little thing. I just was jammed up. So hard by that. Blue hair. Why not blue hair this time? Feels mage-like, doesn't it? Maybe? That stupid little narrow section. But if it wasn't there, I would have kept going from a distance, going at my own pace, how I was feeling comfortable, and I would have been fine. It robbed that from me. And I guess that's the point, is that the game was, like, forcing me. No, no, you can't can't just go through things that simply. We're gonna need you to buck up and actually face these enemies one-on-one, -on -one, cowering, hiding behind my tossed axes. Ooh, take that mole. Fire beats rock. Rock, paper, scissors, fire. Yeah, it's a new game, just vented it. Much more effective. Except for the part where it completely ruins the cyclical nature of things. If, if fire beats rock, then paper would beat fire? It would get replaced? Breaks down very quickly. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. So now I have axes and fireballs. Everything is ranged. And honestly, that's, like, not needed. And probably stupid, if anything. Uh, but I guess, I guess if I... You know, max out my, or use up all my mana, or use up all my axes, then hopefully they're both, they're just not both run out at the same time. Here's a staff, this is probably going to be better. <laughs> Don't look at it far too long, or it'll break. For too long? For too long. <laughs> Wait, is this a regular staff? Did I just swap out for a starting item all over again it might I, I okay i i do have to go look into this i must learn rune of life adds an additional heart and rune of swiftness the hero will reload throwing weapons faster oh layer that together with like the other one that was a throwing enhancement that'd be awesome but i do need to check the other chest wherever it was yes I'm swapping items, they are the same. It is, <laughs> there's nothing different about it. That's a little bit of a shame. I thought that it maybe, maybe it had a stat enhancement, the way things would in like the Diablo series. Modifiers, the way loots would in most loot games. I should use my super, see what the, the mage's super is. Okay, it shot a lot of fireballs in all directions. I used it in precisely the location where it would be least effective, in a narrow hallway. Small dagger, attack more critical hits. If you don't have a toothpick, you can use this instead. I was a little curious if it would be throwing based. Awesome. And just based on my own love of this, even though it's going slightly against the mage theme, I don't care. <laughs> because I'm gonna throw knives everywhere and the occasional fireball 
if I'm feeling it. I, it's totally within my own freedom to choose. <laughs> it's not very, very high damage, but literally nothing has ever been more satisfying. I'm, I want to test a reload on the fly there. Oh god. Too reckless, too reckless, too confident in my own dagger and abilities there. That was not a, a strong start, but it's hard to hard to hold back because it immediately just becomes fun. Hmm, can't afford it. Try and weigh my decisions, and it had already been made for me. Oh god, I need that potion. I need to make it over to there. I'm just focusing on daggers, and then the second that runs out, I switch to fireballs, and then the second the fireballs run out, I switch back to daggers. The loop is complete. <sighs> you can reach the ancient dungeons from here, you just need a key. Alright, I'll do at least one more warrior. The, the throwing stuff is satisfying, but then I just start blazing into there and just get ruined. That's just not, not wise, not advisable. It had, literally hasn't worked. And if I find another ranged weapon, I'm damn near probably gonna do it again. <laughs> and I won't even feel bad about it. Because <laughs> even if I lose doing it, oh, well then at least I had fun. And that's half the battle. The other half of the battle is, is living and surviving and, you know, completing the game. It's very different. <laughs> very different goals. Oh, look at you buried way back here. A magician's cloak. Worthy of a magician. Oh, full body. Covering the pecs and the butt all together. <laughs> Extra mana regen. Not going to be very useful, considering it boosts the aspect of the warrior I use the least. Really, the only thing he has, though. There we go. Ranged. Although the bone is probably like my the least satisfying of them. I definitely enjoyed the dagger the most because there was just so many to throw. I'm gonna resist. <laughs> it hasn't gone well. I'll stick with what potentially has the greatest odds of working. Not that I have the greatest of faith in any single aspect of my own abilities, as I've proven. It doesn't doesn't help much. Maybe we'll have more luck in the dungeons. Long ago, these dungeons were a prison. One day, a wizard released all the prisoners to experiment with them. So is that what we're seeing down here? is experiments. That's just a spider. That's just like a suit of armor, probably a ghost or something. Hmm. That thing had no attack animation. It just kind of hit me. <laughs> Objects will take longer to disappear. Yeah, no, I don't care about that. Does, does anything have an attack animation? Uh, the, the ranged things do. The mole definitely does. I've definitely seen it do an attack animation. But everything else, all the melee things, I think they legit just kind of walk at you. At least I, 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 there was kind of a natural feeling of what was like an acceptable distance that they needed to stay from me. But that feels a little bit sloppy, lazy, not telegraphing attacks at all, just not particularly helpful. Whew. Okay, glad, glad to get some potions back. Ooh, we're crowding all of them in one place here. Hammer, the throwing axe. Yes, it's time. <laughs> Wait, how many are there? Eight of them? Yeah, that's I, I can I can make do with eight. Eight's pretty good. The sword is better for keeping things at bay. It's also better for when these slimes break apart. And then there's all sorts of them that you have to deal with. Oh no. Oh no no no. <laughs> I'm feeling crowded here. You guys gotta give me some space. This is too much. Oh god. I'm trying to roll in the other direction. You can roll into the side of the spikes and you're safe. It's only on top of them. Open the gate, release the slimes. 
for the sake of attacking widespread collections of enemies, the sword is clearly one trillion times better. <laughs> the throwing items are just fun. I guess they work better out in the open. And even then, they don't work that well. But that's probably just my own poor usage of them. <laughs> it's a nice, light, quick game. It was on the cheaper side for sure. There is a handful of achievements to hunt for. There's the different classes to unlock, which I'm sure would extend the replay value and give you more reason to keep playing and messing around with things. Maybe it's good that the game isn't that big or that long. You know, if I'm making it to the second section and I'm making it like a quarter of the way through in like a 20 minute session, I never got further than that. Yeah, it's a bit of a, a learning curve of improvement there. So I would say worth, worth checking out, maybe. It's right on the cusp there. You would have to judge if this felt up your alley. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you again soon.